Good morning. In this video, we're going to see how we can increase clock frequency in digital circuits by using parallelism. Let's suppose a combinational circuit with an input and output bus. Representing those signals as a function of time, we apply at T0 a valid input data. The output data is available at T1 after a delay. Let's now place this combinational circuit in between two registers, representing the evolution of signals as a function of time. When there is a rising edge at the clock signal, the data at the input of the combinational circuit is updated. The output of the combinational circuit is available after the delay, and after the next rising edge of the clock signal, the output of the register is updated with valid data. If we compare the clock signal period with the delay of the combinational circuit, the system works if the period is higher than the sum of all the delays. This addition serves a bound for the maximum value of the clock frequency. This limit can be broken by using parallelism. The figure shows an example of the hardware setup. There, the two combinational circuits are the same, we have just duplicated the hardware. Focusing on combinational circuit 1, the data at its input is updated when there is a rising edge of the clock, and the data is available at the output 1 bus after the delay. Focusing now on combinational circuit 2, after the falling edge of the clock signal, the data B is at the input of this combinational circuit, and output 2 updates its value after the delay. If we consider just the input and output signals and we extend the clock, the inclusion of a multiplexer driver by the clock signal allows us to obtain the output data at a faster rate. This information can be held by using a register driver with a high frequency clock signal that updates its output at every rising clock edge. As we can see, with this strategy the whole system works with a clock period smaller than the sum of all the delays. Mm -hmm.